Hello friends, it is the Sunday night before week 6, it is the 29th of the 8th, 2021, and it's roughly 7.30pm where I'm coming to you from, live and direct from deep in the heart of the capital city of Brisbane. So, it's about to be a bit of a week for me. I'm telling you this in advance because part of the reason it's going to be a bit of a week is I've got a lot of secondary assessment work I need to do for this subject. And to do that, let's get you into what's required this week, what's on the agenda, but also I want to talk a little bit to some of the things we're about to do. So, it's week six, it's promotion. It is the week where we start getting you to think about how does that last part of the marketing mix kick in the gear? So, how do you attract attention to your project? How do you use your project to attract eyes onto something else? That can be a friend's project, that can be a main website you try to draw traffic to, or how do you draw eyes on yourself? Now, a big thing about promotion this week is there's a lot of high-budget expensive stuff in the textbook, in the theory, in the... You, know, you pick up an advertising textbook and it's going to tell you about billboards and magazines and all that sort of stuff. You're down on the gorilla budget. You've got no money, no resources, but you've got time and you've got effort and you've got energy. So we want to look at how can you use the social media platforms to draw attention to your main project. Things to do this week. All right. You've got the on-demand lecture. Go have a look at it because the three lectures that have made up the Marketing Mix series are going to form the foundational framework that's going to handle the next half of the semester. So if you haven't had a chance to catch up, do so over the break. But if you can, catch the on demand and look at the theoretical framework that we've got in play so that when we get around to talking about things like, so this is YouTube, YouTube does this. And we talk about the five different distribution types and the six different types of price and the three different types of promotion. It makes sense to you. Or otherwise, the second half of the semester is going to suck horribly. And I don't want you having a bad time. So, a bit of yards to put in. If you haven't been catching the on demand, binge it over the semester break. Now, this week, I'm going to ensure that everyone has their post-assessment feedback to them. You are going to receive your grade. Some of you are not going to like your grade. I know that because I gave you your grade. And I didn't like giving it to you. you know, I wasn't very happy about having to go and hand out low-end scores. That's not what I... I don't like that. All right? Baseline. Uh, my view with all assessment tasks is that they are an opportunity for everyone to succeed and if you don't succeed then this is the internet this is where we do version 2.0 where we do version 3.0 where we issue patches and updates so if you've gone okay and you've had a uh, you've got a distinction or a high distinction get on with the project get on with it there's nothing more you can do with that assessment task if, however, you are on fail, PX, pass, credit, the version 2.0 is open to you. You can resubmit your assessment and have another go. I will explain the resubmission in a separate document, in a separate uh, message. But the short version is, you will have received feedback from me asking you to fix one of two sections. And everybody who scored a resubmit either missed the target of part one, talked about their own project instead of talking about how they were using the software platform of choice and how they were going to use it for their project, or I read your goals and I was like, I have no idea what you are doing, and I don't know if you can measure what you are doing because I don't know what it is. Part two, I'm just going to say, across the board, nobody... Nobody disappointed me on part two, so I was like, cool, you got that. Awesome. Well done, team. Part one, a few people gave me stories that were not what I was asking for. They were, worst part is, for some of you, you wrote really great things that were answers to a completely different question. 
In fact, it was a question you answered so well that I have written it down as a new question for use later in other places. But it wasn't what I asked for. It wasn't a specification. You don't get the points. But you do get a second shot at the title. So, all of you who are currently feeling anxious about your grade, and oh no, oh no, I'm definitely going to have to resubmit, please wait until I give you your grades back tomorrow. Tomorrow being Monday the 30th. Now, there's two things I need to draw your attention to in the feedback. Number one, you will have three minutes of audio from me. I have recorded audio feedback for every single marked assessment task. Please take the three minutes out to listen to it. I would really make my day. Mainly because I explain things in there. Like, if you've done it well, I tell you what you've done well. I tell you about what I'd like to see you do next with the project. Or I basically, you know, it's one of these, but custom to you personally from your assessment task. Second thing is there is a text feedback. And you'll see that there's a text feedback box. And everyone will have received some feedback from me on their goals because that was requested. And I think it's a really good idea. To, so thank you to the squad who participated in week five's feedback request and gave me feedback and said, this is what I'd like to see. So I've gone for goals, uh, talking about either what you can do to enhance them, how you can do them. Some of the goals were assessment good and have opportunities to do, to tune up, to do interesting things. So I will talk about those. Others were ones where I could go and say, here's an article that will help you pursue your goal. So you will all have received a number of references in your text feedback. And these are papers that are expressly about your project domain. So for all of you working TikTok, there's a bunch of stuff that's been written about TikTok. Google Scholar is my friend. It is my asset. It is my weapon of choice. I am very good at it. And I like it a lot. So I used it to find you and bring you stuff. Nobody's in trouble for not having cited this material. Just that's the first thing. Second thing is, Everybody's been given one of these things as a complimentary, you're doing cool things, I'd like you to succeed. And that's what it's about. Have a look at that, take the lessons you can take, and put it towards your project being success. Because that's what I'm here for. I'm here for this overarching, everybody kicks some serious ass in this campaign. I want to see you succeed, and God damn it, I am throwing what I've got as my resource base at it to make certain I don't leave anything on the table that I can hand out and say, here, use this. So no, my policy is always don't respawn with ammo on the clip. That's, you never want to have spare ammo left on you if you could have used it before you were taken down to respawn. So there is written feedback, there's to goals, written feedback, towards the project in terms of bonus readings and assessment feedback around. It's still an assignment, so you'll get assignment feedback. We are going to do a bit of a discussion in weeks seven and eight about the e-performance review so that I've got people, as many people as possible in the project, in the subject, on tune, on score, ready to go and absolutely smash that EPR out of the park. So, even if you're, if you're worried that, it's, oh, oh no, I'm going to have to redo, keep working towards your project. Keep your project underway. Uh, any resubmission will come with the acceptance that you've already progressed two weeks. So, you know, that's two weeks towards your goals. If your goals weren't very clear, they will now need to be redone on a shorter time frame. But if your goals are clear, keep going for them. And if you've got goals, chase them. Now, well, the things to talk about this week, uh, it will be promotion. If you've done advertising promotion and you've done the promotion uh, promotion subject, brand management, come on into the seminars and have a chat to us about it. Bring your match practice, bring your knowledge. We're going to talk uh, about brand personality as well. That's one of the exercises in the seminar. That's really useful for a lot of things, but particularly anyone working a influencer style campaign. Get your brand personality stuff down pat. On the things to attend, Seminars are back to the Monday, Tuesday. 
Cheers to the squad who came along on Thursday night. I'm glad I was able to produce something that was helpful and useful for you. Really am pleased that, that worked out. Um, I'm busy Thursday night. I'm giving a political marketing conference opinion rant on the Thursday evening, so I won't be available. Virtual tutorials, they will do their usual thing on the Thursdays. I will also open up a bunch of consultation times um, once I know what my calendar looks like for the week so that if you have got a grade that you are dissatisfied with, you can log, you can go uh, log a consultation request. Hop on down, say hi, and look, if you've got a grade you're happy with and you just want advice on the project anyway, let me know. When you book in your consultation, give me a heads up as to whether you are looking for guidance on the project or guidance on the assignment. And I'll make myself available this week. As for the semester break, I would like to use the semester absence of teaching to be absent from teaching, if that's okay with everyone. Um, I've got some stuff I want to write. Because I've marked 40-something papers and downloaded a about three papers per each. I've got about 120 e-marketing papers that I'm super excited to go read through and integrate and merge together so I can write some good stories on this whole area. Because there's cool stuff being done and I want to contribute to it. All right, engagement opportunities. Recap Padlets. Thank you to the squad who have been loyalists on this front. Just a reminder, the other thing that's going to happen on my to-do list this week, I will be doing the meta review of have you, what opportunities have you accessed inside the e-marketing course? So I will do that. It's your first chance to really, because we're at the halfway mark now, it's your chance to look back and say, have I used the engagement to the level I'm satisfied with? Is there more that I want to do? Is there more I want to pursue? Is there things I want to try? The recap padlets are part of the engagement and I've got a loyal crew, but not a big crew. So there's an opportunity there. Forum post and reply, that's kicking off really nicely. Keep the momentum going. Over the next two weeks, over the semester break, keep the momentum going. Keep talking to each other. Keep supporting each other. Keep asking for help and giving help. That's how community rolls. And particularly, every single one of you who laid down the gauntlet challenge to yourself of build a community of engagement. There's your practice ground. Just get used to it. Get it, get it on. Get, get in the seminar, get in the forum, and get it going. Lastly, uh, the Get Hype Challenge. I originally was going to have it due on Friday, but screw that. Uh, there's way too much crap going down this week. Uh, the Get Hype, look, the reason I want you to do this, two reasons. One, I'd like people to get hyped up about the tutorials. They're freaking awesome. I'd like people coming in with the same bouncy enthusiasm I approach these. Uh, the videos and everything else I do in this. The overcaffeinated, extremely excitable lecturer who's very happy to see you. But also, this is a practice round. This is the sort of stuff where you go for a job interview a bit later and they're like, so have you got any experience in using Photoshop or Premiere? Or have you got experience in making social media content? Have you got, you have a chance to practice, train and try stuff out here. Give it a go. Because it's supposed to be fun. Mess about, record something to camera, grab the old iPhone, just stand there, do a, uh, you know, do a modified selfie shot. Make me a meme. And I mean, you know, literally make yourself a meme or make a meme about me or make memes, whatever. Do what's going to fire you up to come to those tutorials. So get hype. Get excited. And win valuable bonus points. And... Finally, week five, we open this up. Week six, it's nominator mate time. Here's the deal. Nominees get rewarded. Nominators get rewarded. I want to hear from you. I know that this course is more than just Alex's tutorials and my seminars. I know that there's stuff that happens in Facebook groups and chat channels and WhatsApp groups and behind the scenes and stuff like that. Plus, every time I send you a lot out to a breakout room, I sit back here, chilling out. I've got no idea what happens in those breakout rooms, but you do. And you know who's had your back. And you know who's been supporting you. 
and you know the students who have been checking in on each other and you know the crew who have been putting the yards in behind the scenes for you because they're community leaders so I want to give you the chance to say hey Steve this person they're good people they deserve a reward they deserve recognition so the nominator mate is going to be on and it continues and we're going to do it after the break as well so there's going to be two more weeks it's a full week process week five week six this week nominate your mates who's been who's the impact player who's helped who's supported who's made a difference and over the break when you come back nominate who's been the person keeping the show on the road who's been helping you out who's been supporting you it's all about the recognition it's all about knowing that you people are out there doing the right thing I know it's happening I want to give the people who are benefiting a chance to thank those who are helping them out alright final thing we're still in the thick of it look not going to sugarcoat it um, the campus hit was kind of terrifying we don't know the status of the lockdowns at this point in time on the uh, semester break is going to be semester absence of teaching it's not going to be a break it's not going to be a downtime you're unlikely to be able to even if Canberra lifts all the restrictions where are you going to go uh, Queensland's closed the borders New South Wales is a uh, plague zone Melbourne's in a lockdown New Zealand's closed the borders and West Australia is just cleared off and nobody's heard from Tasmania it's pretty crappy time out there mates uh, I'm doing the I've got the best of it I'm in my home base I'm in a place I've set up so I know that in the heavy lifting side of things that it's going to start that two week period without the classes is going to take a little extra structure away from you that you had you may not have known how much you needed that structure so just for the next couple of weeks be kind to yourself be careful look out for yourself look out for those around you they always say there's that meme that goes around Facebook of you know check in on your strong friends so they can lie and tell you that they're okay check in on your strong friends all right check in on the people who have basically been talking about ah oh, it's all right breaks coming up because maybe when that pressure valve comes off they're gonna need you so as a team as a squad as a crew look out for each other be aware look out for yourself watch your back um, this structure is about to come off we're about to go in, into a period two weeks semester absence of teaching that it may fly through it may be fine but equally that not having your Monday night or your Tuesday night or whatever your structure is at the moment not having that might take the pressure valve off and give you a chance to just go oh, okay got to process everything now so be okay as okay as you can be because situation still not good we're still in a global pandemic and it's a hell of a season I'm not gonna sugarcoat it uh, season one of the pandemic was yeah we it was novel it was new we didn't know what to expect season two it's been the sequel that's not quite lived up to expectations but boy did they introduce a whole bunch of new DLC and this Delta variant download content uh, give me the old days give me the alpha variant back nerf Delta variant so be okay as okay as you can be and uh, so, oh next one of these is uh, the Sunday night at the end of semester break before week seven See you then.